Hey, what's kicking chickens? It's Blaze and Nana. Little fucking aggravated that I'd share it with you. So check it out. I have a dentist appointment coming up, okay? Um, I finally talked my insurance into letting me get my front teeth pulled, which are all chipped and broken up, pulled out, uh, get into my gums and dig out the roots because I have teeth that got broken off at the gum line. My jaw got broke. It went sideways, sheared off teeth at the gum line. So they need to go in there and like, you know, get those gums out of there. I'm going to get me some false teeth and I'm really happy about that. So, you know, you expect to get a text message to remind you, hey, you have an appointment coming up. Okay. Um, I got one that came from a different area code, which sometimes that happens if they have an 800 number or they're a huge office or, or they're like, you know, a chain of dentist office, whatever. So I click on it and it's like, you know, save time, fill out your paperwork with us early, you know, and they ask for my name, address, social, birthday, driver's license number. Okay. You know, you, you get that when you fill out forms. Then they wanted my mother's name and my father's name, address, phone numbers, social security numbers, and birthdays. Then they wanted to know my mother's maiden name, and then they wanted to know my grandparents' names, address, birthdays, and socials. Then they had a question on there that kind of fucked with me. It said, have you ever owned property in the state of California? The fuck? Okay, so instantly my gut said, uh, bitch, you were born at night, not last night. This is something's wrong with this. So I closed out of the page, uh, turned off my phone just in case because, you know, I was a little paranoid and shit. Tinfoil hat. Uh, I called my dentist office, and guess what? It was not from them. So I sent a screenshot of the text message that I originally got that said, hey, save time. Fill out your paperwork before you come in for your appointment next week. Actually, my appointment isn't for two weeks. See, I knew something was wrong. And uh, so, yeah, warning, warning, whoop, whoop, whoop. And I used to joke around and go, yeah, if somebody, like, stole my, you know, identity, maybe my credit score would go up. It's a funny thing. If you have no debt at all, if you're paying nothing but rent and utilities, your credit score is for shit. If you're in debt, like, if I went and got a credit card or a gas card or something and started paying that, and started getting myself in debt, then my credit score would go up. Fuck it. It's all just a wheel, guys. It's a wheel. Get off the wheel. No, I'm just joking. I'm going all, you know, TED Talk and shit. Nana Talk. <laughs> anyway, so here's the moral of this story. If your gut says don't do it, don't. Puff tough. Love you a long time, kids.